Hey! How you doing, everyone? Good, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Just For Laughs Ethnical Difficulties. Ethnic people, where you at? Show some love. <laughs> White people, where you at? A little less, huh? A little less. Who's the minority now? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, Indians, where are you guys at, Indians? Some of you came with the parents, huh? I love that. That is funny to me. It's because when Indians come alone, it's cool. When the parents come alone, it's cool. But when the kids and the parents come together, it's the funniest thing in the world. Because the kids always come backstage and see me, and they're like, yo, man, don't talk about sex, man. <laughs> don't talk about sex, yo. My dad's here. Don't talk about sex. I'm like, dude, your dad's here with seven kids. Like, <laughs> probably teach me a couple of things. <laughs> so yeah, so any, any Middle Eastern people? Middle Eastern people? <laughs> All spread out. Well, usually that's your technique. No, ha ha ha, just joke. <laughs> I went to Saudi Arabia. Their definition of sex is way on the other side. Like, their definition of sluts is completely different, right? For them, it's like a woman who doesn't wear the headgear. <laughs> and they talk about her like that, too. Look at Fatima. <laughs> Showing off the bridge of her nose. <laughs> her nostrils are flaring up. Those can't be real. <laughs> But it's good, we're in, to, like, we're in Toronto, very ethnically diverse, right? Very ethnically diverse. I was in the States, I was living in the States for a while. They're very diverse too, but different ethnicities. Like I was living in California, and they have a lot of Latinos in California, right? A lot of Latinos. You know what I figured out? I was at their uh, drugstore, and on the intercom I hear, boom, Jose line one, please, Jose line one. And then there was a 10 second pause, and the response, I kid you not, was, uh, could you be more specific, please? <laughs> Boom. Jose Rodriguez. Boom. Senior or junior? <laughs> <laughs> the Latinos have taken over. It's English and Spanish. I'm from Montreal. Everything's bilingual there too, right? English and French. And their translations are weird sometimes. Like, I was staying at a hotel and the Do Not Disturb sign was in three languages because it was a high-end hotel. It was like two and a half stars. <laughs> and it said in English, do not disturb. Then in French, s'il vous plaît, ne pas déranger. Ladies, huh? <laughs> and then the translation in Spanish was messed up. It was, no moleste, por favor. <laughs> I was like, how the are you guys waking people up in Mexico? <laughs> Yo, vato, it's time to go to work. Put a finger in his ass. But I grew up in Montreal, Quebec. I'm from Montreal, I'm a Habs fan. Yeah. yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, but we're still better. But we just got, we got, did you guys see we got a black guy? We got a brother. Yeah, DK Subban. He's from Toronto. We stole your black guy. Have you seen this guy? You know what the thing is, in Montreal, all of the journalists, all the announcers still haven't addressed the fact that he's black. I'm like, you gotta prepare people. Right, like I was reading, oh, he's, got, he's a prospect, he's gonna be great. I get to the bell center, I was like, whoa, yo, let us know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's Quebec. You gotta warn Quebecers, because there's still parts of that province people are adjusting the color on their TV. <laughs> but let's call the repairman, the contrast is too strong. The big puck keeps hitting the little puck. <laughs> Any French people? French people? Yeah, French people? You're French? Yes? She's like, oh, yes. Merde. What's your name, miss? Jennifer? Jennifer. Jennifer. You ever watch French movies? By accident? Do you guys ever watch these? On like Radio Canada, the French CBC? Is it just me or is there a lot of nothing that goes on in these movies? You ever watch it like a couple's finished making love and the girl goes into a monologue for no apparent reason? <laughs> French women really do this. Like I had sex with a French girl two years ago, right, in Paris. She starts up right away. She's like, you know, I have something to tell you. It's about love. <laughs> you know, love, it's a complexity, complexity. It's what completes us, complexes us. Love, it's a convention, submission, it's a connection. It's love, love, 
love, l'amour, l'amour, love. I was like, miss, how much do I owe you again for like... Because when I called the agency, they didn't tell me this was gonna go down. I'm a single guy, single people in the audience? <laughs> All right, you're very excited about being single. That smelt of desperation a little bit, just to let you know. So what's your name, miss? Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So what do you think? You're single, I'm single. You're single, I'm single. Look at the Indians. You would have been married by now with him <laughs> in India, but you're lucky, Marcy. Why are you shy? Don't be shy. She's acting like it's an Indian movie. If there was a tree, I would hide behind it. <laughs> She's been talking about me for weeks, and who are you? Her pimp? Like, what? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard at a show. She's been talking about you for weeks. <laughs> and what's your name, sir? Ahmed. Ahmed? All right, never mind. <laughs> so what do you do, Ahmed? I'm the technology guy at the bank. You're a technology guy at the bank. This is how we wire the money into the country. <laughs> and... <laughs> I am that guy. I'm the one who makes it all happen. <laughs> So which bank do you work at, my friend? Harris, Brown, and Parkins. What is it? Harris, Brown, and Parkins. Ha ha Harris, Brown, and Parkins? He's the small bank. He's like, it's a small bank. It's really me and my laptop, to be honest. <laughs> That's really what we do. And <laughs> we're four guys. <laughs> Guess where the other three are. <laughs>